In this video we're going to be looking at the difference of two squares, which is a way of factorising two square numbers. Although you'll see a little bit later in the video they don't necessarily have to be traditionally square numbers for this to work. Um, let's look at the first one, this is just to get the concept. So we have 5 squared minus 3 squared. Um, now notice that it is the difference of two squares, so it's always got to be that you're doing one square number, take away another square number for this to work. So 5 squared is 25 minus 3 squared, which is 9, which will give us 16. Now, the reason that I've done that is so that we can have a look at how this actually works. We could factorise this to become 5 plus 3 times 5 minus 3. And when we do that, we get 8 times 2, which also gives us 16. So for any of these, any of these, these are all types of expressions where we can factorise them into this form here. So let's look at that with number 2. So this is a generalisation of the uh, difference of two squares. We've got a squared minus b squared, and that factorises to become a plus b, a minus b. So essentially we're just doing the square root of whatever there is in here, and we're doing plus and minus those two square roots. Let's do the same for number 3, it's getting slightly more complicated. So we've got 4x squared minus x squared y to the power of 4. So the square root of 4x squared is 2x, so it's going to be 2x plus the square root of the next term, x squared y to the power of 4. The square root of that is x y squared. So plus and then the same terms but minus this time. Let's look at number 4. We have 3 minus x squared. Now with this one we don't have a square number here. 3 is not a square number but it doesn't matter because we can still um, do the, use the square root of it. So, the square root of 3 is just root 3, and then we're going to do plus the square root of x squared, which is x, and then the square root of 3 minus x. Let's move on to number 5. It's going to be similar here. So we've got 5q to the power of 4 minus 6w to the power of 6. So the square root of 5q to the power of 4 is going to be root 5q squared. And we're going to add that to the square root of the next one, which is root 6w to the power of 3. And then but take away a sign in between those two. And then finally the last one, we've got x to the power of 4 minus 4. Now both of these are square numbers, so you might think that this one is easier than what we've just done. But what we get is x squared minus 2, x squared plus 2. What we can do is we can do the difference of two squares again on this bracket here. So this one could be x minus root 2, x plus root 2. That's this bracket being factorised into these two and then we need to add on this 
bracket here, or multiply it, x squared plus 2. So this one hasn't changed, and we can't factorise that one into the difference of two squares, because it's not the difference, it's the sum. So we can't do that, but for this one we could.